Asia. Very happy to have all of you back for yet another video. And today is on the agenda to first of all show you how you can actually make use of the workflow from my last video in the online desktop platform. Second of all, we will dive into how you can expand the tools that you can make available to your agents very easily yourself by using the pre-built tools that come with Langtrain. And third, as a bonus for those of you that are comfortable with coding in Python and that are keen to build their own logic in terms of two ways, I will also show you how you can do that very easily. With no further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, let's start with downloading and setting up the workflow setting so that you can use it yourself. Now with your name open, go first to your local space and I just on the top level now create a new folder. So click create new, length chain test and open that up. So next you want to go to my last video and follow the with link to the well, workflow on my name hub. So from here, you should be able to drag and drop the workflow. As you can see, it's importing right now. And once this workflow opens, you want to go and save and select the folder again. So now, once the workflow has been downloaded, you still need to download the two access bytes that run the folder. So go back to here or into the folder and now open back up my hub and uh, you can try to um, drag and drop, although it doesn't seem to be working. So then the next easiest option is to click here to download the agent model and download the tools model. And what you then do is you go and uh, browse to these two files and click on add them. And there we go. Now we have the workflow in that new folder as well as the two excellent files that we need. And you can easily test if this is really working by right clicking uh, one of the any of the agents and click on execute and open view. And as long as it fires up and you see as a search tools down here, everything worked as expected. So that's really it for how to get this workflow started. Let's go and add some additional tools. So before I walk you through the process, let's have a look at where we can find new tools that are provided by Langchain already. So I've included a link here. So let's just follow that and we'll get to the Langchain documentation into the tools section. So here are a bunch of tools that you could just use as they are and very quickly integrate. I think this is something that can be done by someone who's not familiar with coding and I walk you step by through step by step. So let's take as an example the Wikipedia tool. So there are a couple of steps that we need to go through. So first of all, in a moment, we will open up the Excel file, the tools Excel file that you downloaded earlier and add it there. Then we will go and come back to this and first install the dependencies. Once we've done that, we will import the dependencies into our agent executor Python script. We will then create the tool in our Python script and we will then make it available for the final workflow. So let's go. To start with, um, as you remember, in your folder that you've created where you've downloaded the workflow and the Excel files, uh, this folder lives in your Nime workspace. So if I go there, it's my Nine workspace and there's this LC test folder and in there is the tools. So the tools Excel has uh, just two entries, the search and the coding tools that we used in the last tutorial and you will now add a Wikipedia tool. And remember exactly how you spade it or come back here later to copy it. We will save this for now and load it down. So what this has done is, if we now execute our agent node, you will see that our agent has a Wikipedia tool available already. So that's great. 
Now we just have to take care of the code changes. Let's go back to his documentation and let's copy this top line. Then go to your search bar and search for mini condo and open up the window. And now before you can install, you will need to activate your environment. And the way that you can do that is by first of all looking up the name of your environment. It's very easy to do that. Go back to the nine workflows, scroll up to the Conda environment propagation node, right click configure. And wait a moment until it shows the name of the environment, which is Langgraph 9. Um, yeah. So switch back to Conda environment and type Conda X. Activate Lang Work Nine. You can see that it was successfully activated when you see the environment name in between the buckets. Paste the install code, and I recommend that you get rid of the sprite flag, and then you will see in case there are any errors, and get rid of the percentage. So hit enter, and it will install it for you. I had it installed already, that's why you can't see it here, so go to close this window and go back to the documentation. Next, copy this line where you have the import statements. That needs to go to the top of our agent executor Python script. So copy that, go back to your non workflow, scroll down, right click on your agent executor Python script configure and write at this top section where you have all the import statements, go to the bottom of that and simply paste. So we can now test if this works. Let me just um, execute our previous nodes, configure again, scroll back down, highlight just these two lines and say unselected lots. If you don't see any red text, then that's good news and everything worked as expected. Stay in here for now. We now go back to the documentation and we grab this next line of code, which um, creates a tool named Wikipedia for us. So we we'll do that. And here, now hit Control and F for search and type hashtag set. That will bring you down to round about row 116, 120, where the section starts, where all the tools are being added. So we have our Python tool with it. We have our search tool. And right below that, we we'll just add a hashtag comment, say Wikipedia. And this next line, we paste our code. So the last step that we need to do is to register this tool in our final workflow. That is being done by adding it to this list of objects in the available tools variable. Simply highlight. So, last line, copy it, create a new line, paste it, and then we start renaming. So here, we call it, oh, we give the tool the names that we have in the exit tool, that was Wikipedia tool, and the tool function will become the name that we've created up here. And then we'd OK, and we are pretty much done with activating that. So now for those users of you that are a little bit more advanced, we would one last thing that is creating a custom tool that we can code in our Python script ourselves with our own logic. The process is in general the same, so we go back to our Excel, and I don't know what I do is I just add this top, because what we will add is a no tool. tool. And the the reason why I'm adding that is um, one of the limitations of the current workflow is that every agent needs to have one tool enabled. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Otherwise, you will get an error. So this can be quite annoying if you want an agent in your team that, for example, just does the formatting of a final text or something. So where you really don't need him to search or to write code or whatever. And my plan is now to add a tool that actually does do anything other than telling the agent that he needs to get the job done without 
using any tools at all. So we've taken the first step. We just reconfirm that let's reset this agent node and have a look. So the node tool is already there, which is good. So if you obviously now code a more comprehensive tool that needs uh, uh, requires additional packages to be installed and also go to Miniconda, activate your environment and install any packages. And then in the Python script to start with, you would go and also add the import statements. But I'm sure that if you consider coding your own tool, your own logics, and you know what I'm talking about. So then we go back down to row 120 roundabout, go below our Wikipedia tour and call it the no tool section and what we do here is we will write in a line at tour this is called the decorator and after that we just write a normal python function with some modifications and let's look at this python repl function as an example so the py the function has a parameter and we then annotate this parameter with some instructions so we need to do that so that this works with Lantern. And the second important thing is that we need a duck string. So let's with these three quotation marks where we also write a little bit about what's happening, what this tool is for. So to make things very easy, I simply copy this, go here, paste it, and we will rename this up here to no tool. And we will call the parameter an input one and in here we simply write do do not need to use any tool you have to get the task done without tools and we simply copy this statement and we will also paste it in here and to make uh, very sure that we get the message so which first of all get rid of what is code we add as a return statement, so this is what pops out of the function at the end. Same message. So hopefully the agent will get that. Click OK to save. And yeah, then we are pretty much done with that part. One important piece to note is that if you made the change to one of the executor, executors, and let's say, for example, here I have a second Python script with an executor up here. Whatever changes you make down here will not automatically be transferred up here. So if you want to make sure that uh, your workflow up there also works, you need to copy this node, paste it, move it all the way up to wherever your other function is, delete the old script, and then start hooking up. Um the connections again so first the agents then the task and last the model details so i will briefly pause and when i'm back i'll have an example prepared where we can actually test this i'm back so let's quickly have a look at that i've created an agent who's still a research agent but he's supposed to do research by using the Wikipedia tool. And we've enabled the Wikipedia tool for him. Our second agent formats the output of the first agent as in Markdown. And he's enabled for the no tool because we don't want him to use tool at all. The task is to research about Formula One driver Michael Schumacher. I've also connected Langsworth again so that we can see what's happening in the back end. But I will start by simply spinning this up for now. And I'll be back once it's ready. Admittedly, this is me from the next morning. Because I ran into some unexpected encoding errors that took me quite a while to fix. And after that, I found that um, there was some additional prompt engineering required to get our agents to do what we want them to do. So let's first take a look at what happened in our final response here. So the second output port should always be the last message. If we look here, so it responded with final answer. And brilliant. So here we have some nice markdown formatted short text that's good 
So if we then go to Langchain, here we are, as you can see, I went quite some additional tests. And let's have a look at this run. Yeah, let's look at the last message. As you can also see, our no tool was called. That's our research agent uses the Wikipedia tool, gets a response with the page from Michael Schumacher uh, and his son, Mick, and his wife. Then the research agent summarizes that. And here we go, here our formatter agent tries to use our uh, note with and gets a response that he doesn't need to use any to it. But then he follows his instructions and responds with fun answer, followed by the formatted prep post. Awesome. So this actually worked. Really happy with that. So that wraps up today's video. Hope this was helpful and you can follow along. Let me know uh, what else you want to see with regards to these AI use cases. In my next video, I'll probably start doing something slightly different. So stay tuned for that.